Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show how to troubleshoot this issue. Some users, when they're when they're trying to connect from the external environment, when they're working from home or some other location, when they try to connect to the company URL, Citrix URL, they get this error message. It says something like, unable to add account with the given server URL, ensure that it is correct or enter your email address. So this is the error message that many users see after installing Citrix receiver or Citrix workspace when they want to connect to the you know uh, uh, corporate environment, Citrix environment, they see this error message after typing the URL. So I'm going to share a couple of tips or a couple of solutions that can help to resolve this issue. Okay, so the very first thing that you need to do is the very first thing that you need to check is you need to make sure that you are entering the right URL. Okay, the URL has to be correct. So let's say if you are a user connecting from external environment, like you know, working from home or office, I'm mean, working from home or coffee shop or any other location, but you are entering the internal URL that you use to connect internally that will not work because that is the internal url that has to be that needs to be used inside the office network but not outside the office network you know like coffee shop or home so the very first thing that you need to check is whether you are entering the external url or not whether you can you know connect from external network or not using the url so please make sure that you are typing the correct url okay make sure it is right there are no spelling mistakes or something that is the first thing that you need to check the second thing is if the url is https okay so HTTPS means secure traffic. If you're connecting from external network, it has to be HTTPS. So, so please make sure that you type HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. It should, it should not be HTTP. It has to be HTTPS. So if you are 100% sure that you are entering the right email address, I'm sorry, right storefront URL. And if you're still not able to, you know, connect to it for whatever reason then it could be some kind of network issue or some you have some proxy issues that you are facing from your home network or some coffee shop wherever you're trying to connect so what i would like to do is uh, what what you can do is you can just you can simply open a web browser okay you can simply open a web browser and enter the same url okay enter the same url maybe you know this url can be accessed not only from citrix workspace application your company has allowed it to access from web URL. Okay, so what you can do is you can simply, you can simply copy the URL. If you are 100% sure that the URL is right and you're not able to connect through Citrix or workspace, just minimize this and put the URL in a web browser. It could be, you know, uh, Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or any browser. Please make sure that you put it in the address bar and hit enter. So once you hit enter, see it is automatically taking you to your Citrix page. Let's say let's say there is an Infosys employee, okay? Let's say there is an Infosys employee and this employee is trying to connect to the Citrix environment. So endpoint analysis has started. So basically, it is checking it is checking whether this computer has you know necessary requirements or not. Like you know it is going to check whether this computer has endpoint analysis plugin or not okay or uh, uh, windows updates are up to date or not if there is any uh, antivirus installed or not if the you know computer is windows 8 or windows 10 if it is windows 7 or something it will reject it it will not allow the users to connect so the endpoint analysis will detect whether this computer is ready to connect to the citrix environment or not so it says something is not available so endpoint analysis is not available so i'm going to click on download i think it is going to download the file now see it has downloaded the file it has downloaded the file so all you need to do is you need to run the file you need to simply click on it and run the file so once you run the file it says install okay so click install let's see what is going to happen okay it says it is finished Okay, it says in order to access specific corporate resources, an endpoint analysis scan is required. Information about your system is sent to your corporate network to further evaluation. Do you wish to run the scan? So it is going to run the scan. Now it is going to check whether you know the computer, your computer is up to date or not. If your computer is not up to date, then it is going to reject it. So if you are an employee who is trying to connect to your Citrix environment, you simply click yes. 
All you need to do is you need to click yes. And let's see how it goes. Okay, now it is trying to do the endpoint analysis check. Okay, seems like it is finished now. I'm going to click finish. Okay, just click finish. So I clicked finish. Now it is asking me to enter the email address. This has to be my email address, not corporate URL. This has to be my email address. Let's say my name is, uh, okay, Naresh or Tom or whatever it is. You need to type Tom at Infosys.com, okay, or Sarah at Infosys.com, whatever it is. It has to be your email address, not Citrix URL, okay. Once you type that, click next. It is going to ask your password, your Windows domain password. Once you enter the Windows domain password, if multi-factor authentication is enabled, especially when you're connecting from external network, MFA is enabled. Multi-factor authentication means it's like a one-time password that is going to send to your email address or it is going to send to your phone number. So if you have that six-digit code, you need to put that code. After typing the username and password, put that code and it will take you to the corporate network if you are an infosys employee it will take you to the infosys citrix environment if you are work if you are an, if you are another company if you are working for some other company maybe you are in us or uk wherever you are you're going to take you to your citrix environment and you can access your citrix applications or desktops so this is how you need to troubleshoot the issue when you come across this kind of problem while trying to connect from connect from external environment so i really hope that uh, you find this information helpful Thank you for watching this watching this video if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you in the next video bye bye